So I made it back to Austin. I'm here for the next few days just to get the rest of my stuff moved out. The majority of my stuff I already moved out at the end of the semester, but I'm just here to clean up the place before I have to turn in my keys. So this coming year, I'm about to be a junior at the University of Texas at Austin. And this last year as a sophomore, I lived off campus in West Campus at the block on 28th Street. It definitely isn't the nicest place ever, but I enjoyed my time here. Unfortunately, I'm going to move apartments for this next coming year. The dates don't really line up exactly, so I do have to move all my stuff from this apartment and then take it back home to Dallas and then move it back in on like August 20th, something like that. I definitely could get like a storage unit to put all my stuff, but I really don't have a whole lot. It's just like my clothes. I have to bring back like the TV and um, my desk, but the next place has a desk, so I don't really have to bring it back. We're just taking it back home and leaving it there. If you're curious what the rooms look like here, here is an example of one that is cleaned out. This apartment was a four person apartment, but there's only two bedrooms, so you have to sleep next to each other and there's sort of a partition down the middle. Um, not the greatest scenario, but the rent prices here in Austin are pretty expensive, so this just saves you a little bit of money, sort of splits a room in half. The two roommates that lived here were Wes and Owen. They are currently marching with the Boston Crusaders this summer, so they moved out pretty early. And my other roommate, Ben, moved out this last week, so I'm the last one here, and we're just here to clean this place up. One of my favorite parts of this apartment was the balcony. The view is really nice out here. We also had the ZBT frat across the street, so we got to watch some pretty mean parties. There's way more stuff than I thought.
So it's day two back here at the apartment and yesterday we pretty much got all the kitchen stuff put into boxes. Today for breakfast, I realized that I probably need to get a plate back out and a cup. Anyways, today we plan on cleaning up the bathroom just a little bit. Um, we ended up getting everything out of the closet and everything out of the cabinets and all that, but we're gonna clean up a little bit of that. And then we need to take apart my desk and take apart my chair just so that we can fit that in the car and take it back home. I think next year my apartment comes with a desk and a chair, but I think I'm gonna keep my chair, so I'll bring my chair back with me to the new apartment and we'll just see how that, that new desk is. For this new apartment, I will have my own bedroom, which is a lot better. It was a little bit more expensive, but since it's a little bit farther off from campus, it was a lot cheaper than other four by twos, which it's four bedroom, two bathrooms. So I'll still be sharing a bathroom with Ben. It just makes it a little bit cheaper than getting a four by four and having your own bathroom. The place has pretty good reviews, so I'm really excited to see it. Um, I heard that the Wi-Fi isn't really the best, but everything else seems to be great. It has a pool, a really small gym. Uh, there's a parking garage downstairs. It has all of the uh, the normal amenities, so I'm really excited to see it. I move in on like August 15th, so we'll see then. Here at UT, most people live on campus the first year and actually really recommend living on campus. You sort of get to be on campus more and get the feel for what it's like. The uh, dining hall isn't obviously the greatest food ever, but it's uh, pretty nice for the first three or four months while you're there. My freshman year, I was in the Jester East dorm with um, my friend Ben, who is my roommate for this year, and he will be for next year as well. I think most people do end up moving off campus their second year, just because the food on campus gets a little bit old. So this year we moved into this apartment in West Campus, and it's about a mile, about a 25 minute walk from the music building, which is where I'm at most of the time. But I had an electric scooter, which I would ride back and forth, which it's like a nine, 10 minute electric scooter ride to the Butler School of Music, so not too bad. This apartment wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but it definitely did its job and uh, we enjoyed living in it. It has a, a pretty big living space as you saw and then the bedrooms obviously I was sleeping in the same room as Ben. Again not too bad it's just something you deal with just to pay a little bit less in rent. So as you can see, there's a big divider that's connected to both of the headboards. It just comes like this with the beds attached to the headboards so that we could have more room for a desk on each side. We ended up taking the beds off the headboards, so now we're just cleaning up and we need to attach those back so it looks like we never even moved them. Finish putting the beds back together. If you've been following along, I did end up bringing my saxophone with me here just so that I could continue the, the My Summer Practice Journal series. I didn't end up practicing yesterday, which is Wednesday, and I probably won't end up practicing on Saturday just because it's travel day and after a three hour car ride, I don't really want to practice. We'll see if tomorrow and today we can go to BSOM and practice. Can't really practice in the apartment just because it's 
disturbing for the people around you, but it is nice to just be able to drive my car over to BSOM and practice whenever I need to. So I made it to BSOM in order to practice and I brought my setup so that I could film some My Summer Practice Journal. If you haven't yet checked that series out, I'll link it up in the top. Just go check that out. It's where I'm filming every day of my practice just to provide transparency and to keep me accountable. All right, I'm gonna practice. I'll see you guys later.